This is Matt Thorne, and I've uh, just just about finished up my RGB uh, multicolor lightsaber, which uses the Clone Wars Ultimate Lightsaber soundboard and uh, basic functions. And I've got that uh, hooked up with a uh, Corbin LED driver, and I also um, made it possible to combine colors using those three switches that you see right there. Um, there are still some things I'm not real happy with. I'm not real happy with the powder coating job I did. Uh, this is some kind of Viking um, stainless steel finish. I'm not sure what makes it Viking, but uh, it's a beige. Is that the right word? I don't know, but it's not quite what I was looking for. And there's silver vein for the, what were supposed to be these grip strips here. Um, anyway, it looks alright from a distance, but not if you look at it too close. Another thing I'm not happy with is my my switch, which is headless for the moment because of the only head I have. Uh, looks pretty dumb and sits way too high. So I've got to do something about that, but this is the only uh, push button momentary DP DT switch that I could find. So that's what I have. What I am happy with is the, these switches here. And I'm pretty much happy with the colors. Um, I ended up using a 1 ohm resistor on the red uh, LED. It's a LED engine RGGB <coughs> uh, LED I'm using. And to get a decent purple, um, I had to uh, drop the power to the R to the red LED. But um, probably could have dropped it a bit more, but I'm pretty happy with the purple, more like a magenta that I've got. So anyway, here it is in action. You see, none of the switches are pressed down, so there's no light in the blade. Well, I'll start with red. There it is. Pretty decent level of brightness. Nice green. Green is nice. Notice that the sounds change. That matches the uh, sounds you get with the uh, Clone Wars Ultimate the Lightsaber. Here's blue. Blue is also pretty decent. Now we'll combine some. Here's uh, blue and green together. Makes sort of a cyan, maybe even closer to a light blue than a cyan. And with green and red, you get a sort of an amber pretty nice. And here's the magenta-like purple. Some people may not like that, but it's good enough for me. And when all three buttons are depressed, you get a sort of a pinkish white. It's also nice. So there you go. It uh, another major problem is that, um, well, I'll let it time out and you'll see. The uh, Hasbro Ultimate Lightsaber sound board will time out when there's more than a minute of inactivity. But as you can see, the lights stay on. So if I press this button again, <laughs> I get the reverse situation. And uh, the only way to match them back up again is to let it time out one more time, or I can plug a kill plug into my recharge board there. But I'll let it time out, it doesn't take too long. And uh, the other major problem is that the flash sensor just is not... I got it to go off once, but in the process for some reason the lights turned off. So I think I'm going to have to um, 
it's all right if you sw keep switching colors <laughs> because every time you switch color the timer resets itself not a very good solution I'm thinking of adding a switch maybe somewhere down here or someplace unobtrusive to basically force a clash um, the Corbin driver the uh, um, sensor on that works occasionally, but basically these are crappy Hasbro sensors that I'm using. Might even be better to just try to make something on my own, but I think I put about as much work into this as I want to. Um, it was an educational and fun project, and I'm pretty happy with these switches. Notice that I've, you know, this one will give you sort of a all-around look here. Just the speaker grill. Um, since I'm using the original rather large speaker that came with the ultimate lightsaber, it doesn't fit um, into the uh, MHS uh, sync tube adapter. So there's some dead space in there which makes for a decent sound chamber. And there's the button right in the center and you notice that the three buttons, I put them at a sort of a 30 degree angle there which I thought would be kind of cool. And I sort of thought about hand placement and stuff, so uh, actually this hand would go here, and the right hand, which is holding the camera now, would go here. Um, so it's pretty comfortable to hold. Uh, it's just a bit top-heavy, though. Uh, the, uh, it uses four AAA batteries, so it's pretty light down here, uh, and kind of heavy up there because I'm using a thick tube. So, this is what I have. Uh, notice that I haven't put a blade of retention screw in yet. It'll go right there, probably. Something simple and probably silverish. Kind of wish that I had, um, uh, when I, I, I uh, powder coated the uh, silver vein grip strips there first uh, on top of this the uh, chrome of the tube and that looked good but unfortunately when I made these holes for the for the three switches here I um, when I deburred it uh, and sanded it some of the uh, <coughs> brass underneath was exposed so I had to do something with that so I tried out this new powder which uh, I'm not too happy with but such is life Anyway, I hope uh, this was informative and or entertaining, and there it is.